This is Paul Goldberger, architecture critic for The New Yorker. I've done a piece in this week's issue about the new Goldman Sachs headquarters in Lower Manhattan. This new building, designed by Harry Cobb of Pay Cobb Freed, is in Battery Park City, uh, which is the sort of extension of Lower Manhattan west of Ground Zero on landfill in the Hudson River. I guess it's exactly the kind of thing Goldman wants, which is that it's elegant but understated, not flashy. When you see it from a distance, you just, it just kind of blends into the other stuff in Lower Manhattan in a way. And then as you get closer, you see there is a lot of refinement to it and elegance. You know, a lot of the time in New York, banks and financial institutions have seen architecture as a way of kind of uh, marking their identity and, in fact, enhancing their image and identity, kind of as a way of, of staking, staking a claim on the earth, as it were, and, and making sure that people notice them and even creating a kind of aura of stability, the solidity and the permanence of the bank. Goldman Sachs has never followed the trend of, of uh, overt architectural expression. Uh, their offices have always been pretty anonymous. For a long time, they were at a really, really dull building at 55 Broad Street in Lower Manhattan, and they outgrew that and built a building at 85 Broad Street that's one of the more boring buildings of the last generation. Today, Banking is just all about electronic transfers of cash on a screen. You know, there's no, money's not a hard thing. And so uh, the architectural expression is different. So this building just says 200 West Street on it. There is a sense of being a little bit cut off. It's not a building that, that breaks new ground in architecture, particularly. In my piece, I sort of compare it to a, a really well-tailored suit. It, it's, it's very understated, but it is fairly elegant and, and well-executed and clearly not cheap. They spent a great deal of money, as you might expect. I mean, $2 billion. 